Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be working again with these templates. So what you do is go in here and begin a, a new one. I'm going to call mine Template 3. Click Next. And then Next. I'm using 15. And then scroll down. Tabbed Activity because we're working with, still working with them. Down here and we're going to use Action Bar Spinner and then finish and when you've done that you should have this code right here or something very very similar to it so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you that you should make a copy of the fragment main XML I just copied pasted and renamed it fragment main XML very easy to do now with fragment main to at two XML I didn't make a whole bunch of changes um, however, there are one or two very small changes I did. Right down here, let me get to it. I changed the layout and the width. If you notice, originally it was match parent. I changed mine to 400 dp and 800 dp. The reason being for that is that if you just leave it default, it wraps around the text view and it looks very small. And I want a very large and dramatic change that you can very easily see. So that's why I changed it. All right, let's go look at main over here. Now, and this is where a lot of my changes occur. I want you to scroll down, down, and down. Let me see, where is it? I probably passed it up. Uh, oh, there's a placeholder fragment right there. Yes, this is the area. Now, I did some new code with a placeholder fragment. Normally, uh, I would put it in a separate file, but this time I just recreated it and pasted it and called it placeholder fragment 2. And I'll show you that here in a second. All right, so there's place. All right, wait. Scroll to the top. About line 152. Uh, there's placeholder fragment. This is the original version uh, that comes with the template. And basically, what I did here is I copied and pasted it over again and used it in the same uh, main activity Java. So um, I'll show you how I did that. I went here and I scrolled all the way down to, no man, now a little bit farther down, all the way to the, right past the root, root root view. I took all this, I copied it and pasted it, and don't forget to leave that one extra curly brace. Don't get all the curly braces. And when I did that, uh, I put these notes on it. Yeah, there's that. That's you have to keep that there because that's that closes everything. So only thing that I did here was I renamed the fragment place fragment 2 but you have to do that in several places um, not only do you have to rename it here in the very beginning the class but you have to every time that its placeholder fragment is used you have to rename it placeholder fragment 2 and I think there are um, one two three four five cases of that so there's that. And I also came down here and you see fragment main 2 and fragment main. I want it to uh, inflate fragment main 2 rather than fragment main. So that's what I did. I came down here and changed that to fragment main 2 instead so that it would inflate the proper XML file. Alright, now scroll up here till we find spinner. There's two other things I want to show you that I changed. Uh, spinner right up here it's real really quite up to close to the top you can actually you know do spinner and then click a couple of times until you find it so it's really close to the top um, so this is the setup spinner this is part of the, the template and originally it says section one section two and section three but what I did is I came in here and I changed that so basically you would be able to tell when you've changed a part of this Java code you would see the change so I changed it from change uh, to change two and here three okay now let's go down here and look at the actual spinner uh, now that I've changed this here the spinner well this is what determines what shows up now, originally you have no if no else if and no else all you have is this get support this section right here get support fragment manager that's the original code so the bees actually the easiest way to do this is to get this and copy it and then make several copies of the copy so I'm gonna do that go here copy 
and then I'm going to go down here and I'm actually going to space it out so that you'll be able to see easier uh, where it goes uh, without you know the else if it, it's kind of hard to see with the else if so I'm going to space it out better alright so those are the three cases that you can just simply copy and paste this to here and to here alright so now that you've got that done you have to go in here and change the placeholder fragment two. Now the other two I left alone, placeholder fragment, and placeholder fragment two is the only one, the one in the middle so we can see the huge change was the only one that I changed. And the position is the variable here, like as in computer science it starts with zero, so you know position one plus one would equal one. So in position I made it equal zero because that's actually the first position and it shows up with the same fragment that you had earlier with the original template. Now the second position, position one, I'm going to insert our new fragment, placeholder fragment two. That way you can see the change and then after that I'm going to put an else statement and that will load up the same fragment again. So that will be a, uh, the third fragment. Yeah, will The same fragment as it was pr previously. Um, so basically it's a sandwich uh, with the uh, new information in the center and that pretty much sets you up with all the major changes that are, occur in this code uh, so now we're going to just go up here and play it and this is what it looks like and you see the original this is actually what it looks like if you run it without changing any of the code this is the original uh, display quality and everything so you can see that this is the change. This is how we change things, so it's very easy to set to see. And then change here three. Again, that only thing up here is because we changed the names of the spinner uh, menu. That's the only thing that changed. It changes back to the original code. So there's that. Really, the basics of how to manipulate and how to change and use this template for your own personal benefit. Now one of the things that they do that I don't really agree with is that they put all the, the fragments inside the main activity. I really prefer to split mine up. So there is that issue. But uh, it works and I did that so that people out there who really have a desire to do everything on the same page could. So this has been Ageless John teaching other Android Studio tutorial. Glad you joined me. Don't forget to subscribe and a thumbs up.